today, if you think about what these agents are doing, in my view, and this is unfortunate, I think they're essentially automating the work of a junior engineer. So for new grads entering the software engineering field, the number one thing that you got to get good at is and what that means is that the playing field has shifted and everybody needs to kind of reinvent themselves. I started a company in 2021 called Bloom and we went through YC and we scaled it to about 2 million users and about 4 million in AR. And I often hear this new hype about full stack AI. What we mean by this is that we're not just sort of providing a tool to, you know, these existing you know, employees and these enterprises to do their work, but really we're thinking kind of from the other side of like, how do we actually just automate away the entire job? Or it's like, you know, what are kind of the most gnarly, annoying workflows that these people have to actually go through every day? And how do we just wholesale take that off their hands? How would you actually build an AI-native product today? So I think I would distinguish a little bit the exercise of trying to build a full-stack AI company and the idea of building an AI-native product. Most people don't know this, but there's at least three companies that are doing 100 million or more in AR, which have a name that's quite similar to ChatGPT and just have an app out there in the App Store. So there's a lot of opportunity, obviously. If we see that junior developers are not needed anymore for writing the small module code from which you essentially get the experience to learn about a bigger system. Where are we headed with this? I mean, 